here today at Platinum Cars Arena to meet up with our client Jakob Ortmark, who plays for Yves Connor Shopping in Altenskan. We have a training right now inside the arena, so let's go and watch. Jakob's best qualities as a football player is his technique and his understanding of the game. He's a really smart player on the pitch. In the last couple of years, he has also developed his defensive game as well. He's a very, very good defensive and offensive midfielder. Me and Jakob actually played together when we were like from maybe eight years old to, um, to 14 years old. So we played a couple of years together in, in, in Roman Pojkarna in Sweden. When he was a youth player, he, he was outstanding. I mean, his technique, his control with the ball, it was something else. So it's very nice to, to see him play now on this level. Since I can remember, I've only, only had one thing in my mind, and that's to play football all the time. So becoming a professional here in Sweden and hopefully abroad has just like been like a mission. When Jacob was younger, he was the one who, who trained the hardest and trained the most. But I could see like a really good development in his, uh, in his personal life as well now when he's older. He has found a really good balance and I think that's really important for a football player to have this kind of balance besides the pitch and, and to, to do the things he loves and I think that, that gives him energy to, to use on the pitch. The hardest part, I would say, uh, just you know, the the devil in in the back of your head. I'm saying the devil, so everyone understands. Like it's a little little man that's in the back of your head. Yeah, just to managing him. I've got him way better at that because you know it's always like bad parts you did in the game, not the good ones, and it's like a you have to develop to be kind to yourself in a way. Because I mean, football is so much mentally, and you just have to have very good confidence. See, Jakob is one of the players who always is last on the trainings. He always wants to, uh, to play more after the training and do extra training and stuff like that. I've always uh, uh, said to myself, if I lose the training, I can't go in until I've made like extra work. Losing is the worst thing there is. And yeah, if I'm, if I'm going to be feeling good for the rest of the day, I can't just go in directly. So I have to, you know, practice the left foot or whatever it can be. I signed with Wii Sport uh, one year ago. The work I'm doing with Wii Sport is very like holistic in a way because it's way more honest than I'm used to and professional. I have Rickard, I have Nina as my agents, I have uh, Pisano as my performance coach. Yeah, it's like a whole package. I met Pisano the first time in the summer 2018. I had a treatment with him and then we started to see each other and like his way of uh, dealing with like training uh, really changed my physique because I remember that winter it like changed my physique. I gained seven kilos in, in muscles and like like uh, over the year of course yeah, yeah. and uh, he changed because before him I, I trained in one way and when I changed uh, my way of training with him it's like yeah the development was, was huge. So now we're at the gathering in Norrköping uh, called Kons Forum, uh, where I have my first uh, solo exhibition uh, ever. And uh, yeah, what can I say? It's called uh, Abstract Cartoonism uh, Landscapes. All the paintings are about a landscape uh, in the country, abstract cartoonism, from an airplane's perspective. So uh, what you see here is my, my version of a landscape in the country, by abstract cartoonism, which is my, how I call my style. Short introduction. <laughs> he has fine the art, the art part of his life as well. You can see he has a really good balance between 
between uh, football and, uh, and uh, the life beside football. And I think that helps him very much in, uh, in his game uh, on the pitch. So here we have the, the biggest piece in the exhibition, actually the biggest piece I've ever done. And uh, it's really about uh, one contrast between two things, uh, the geometrical uh, areas and the expressive areas. How they you know, interact and, and make the balance in the painting. These figures to the left is really uh, characteristics for my, for my style, after cartoonism and uh, yeah, as I said earlier, it's, it's a landscape in this country from an from a airplane's perspective. Is it a footprint I see there? Yeah, I actually had it on the floor uh, okay. here when I made it and I really, you know, got into it and uh, stepped all over the painting. You have my f uh, footprint in the middle, yeah. in, uh, to the right. The painting, I, I, I guess just the painting helps me in the way that I can like, yeah, if I had a bad game or something, I can just, you know, focus on something that makes me, me happy in another way. If you lost your game, you feel like shit, like I'm, I'm so useless sometimes, yeah. you know? And then the art or my, my girlfriend or whatever, uh, makes me feel that I'm not useless. I'm actually, you know, some person outside of football as well. And yeah, that really helps. And this is my favorite uh, in all the exhibition. Okay. I don't know why, it's just uh, very like balanced and yeah. uh, technically like good uh, in my, uh, how I see it. Yeah. And uh, like a good mixture of the expressive and ge geometrical yeah. uh, ones. Uh, when I played in Dega Fortune, I had really a lot of time over yeah. to spare. I, I've always been very ambitious and y it goes to a point in football when you, yeah. you just can't train more. Like it just affects you badly mentally, I don't know. I felt like that anyway. And um, then, uh, I started to paint a lot, a lot, and uh, it really like fills a, a um, very good purpose, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's cool because it's like it fills the ambition quote because I feel like I'm doing something. Yeah. But it's not in an ambitious way. Yeah. Exactly. So it's more like uh, you know a joyful and yeah. very like stress relieving way. It puts me in the right mood. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And in most cases, uh, like the footballers. As I am or others, like football is everything. Yeah. Because it, we, we love it so much. Yeah. And maybe that's why it's so important to have something so like, yeah, you can just have the mental balance. But yeah. really it's, it's maybe because football is just everything because we're so passionate. Yeah. Like football can just absorb your whole life because yeah, exactly. it's so amazing. Yeah. But you, maybe then you just have to force yourself in, in another interest in some way. It's a weird feeling because football is still like everything. Yeah. So it's, it's so weird. Of course, the art and, uh, and family, whatever it is, helps, but football is still so, yeah. like, it's amazing, you know? Fram, Trausta Son is here. Stenshagen goes in, but the ball goes to Nyman. Vidare on Sigurdsson. Lyftningen, here is Ortmark and Levi. And then Bissa Klet is in goal! That is wonderful! From Jakob Ortmark. These particular artworks, as I said, uh, before also it's about the contrast of, of uh, the wildness and the more structured. That's football and art. Oh, yeah. Football is the wild, you know, team like you gotta kill the oppo yeah, opponent yeah, and yeah. an art is more like let me have a smoke and yeah. just paint, you know. Yeah, okay. And so it's basically me, you know. This okay. is how I like to play football, you know. Yeah. Just like a nice movement. And like these are the, these forward, are the right? fucking uh, rules, you know, from the coach <laughs> telling me I can't do what, you know. You, you think about it. Yeah. Now we're standing here talking yeah. about art, and we we've known each other <laughs> <laughs> since we were super yeah. small. Uh, like the moment. Yeah, you know? yeah. Love the moment. My grandpa uh, actually said a very good thing. He said that uh, Churchill, uh, Winston Churchill, in the Second World War, he said that you have to go from failure to failure with the same enthusiasm. And I think that's exactly what I'm what I'm always trying to do. And sometimes it feels like I'm I'm losing way more in training than others. And but I just have to be just the same enthusiastic level. Uh, I have to have that. And I think that's very well said of him. I, I have that in my mind uh, a lot.